Hey everyone, it's the How To Mac, and on this episode we're going to talk about dynamic processing in GarageBand. Um, there's an audio unit filter called the AU Dynamic Processor. Uh, it's a multi-band audio unit compressor that allows you to manipulate the main body of each drum hit for squelching. Um, so what does that mean? Well, the dynamic processor can function as either a compressor and limiter, or it can function as an expander and noise gate. Um, we'll get into those a little bit later, but one thing that it can't do is it can't do both compression limiting and gate expansion at the same time. So if you need to do something like that, uh, you'll probably have to mirror tracks and do each function separately, but that kind of depends on your needs. So first off, let's talk a little bit about sound dynamics. What is sound dynamics? Sound dynamics are the loud and soft areas of sound. The four dynamics of sound are the compressor, the limiter, the expander, and the gate. GarageBand has three dynamic processors that allow you to manipulate these dynamics. The AU multiband processor, the AU peak limiter processor, and the AU dynamic processor. For the purpose of this video, I'm only going to focus on the AU dynamic processor. In later videos, I'll discuss the other processors, but first we need to nail down the dynamics of dynamic processing. So first off, to get to the AU Dynamic Processor, click on your drum track. This is a royalty-free track from Looperman.com. Uh, if you've never heard of Looperman, definitely go check it out. It's a music community for filmmakers, DJs, producers, musicians, you name it. Uh, it's free to sign up and all loops are royalty-free. Uh, it's a great place to get new ideas for new music projects and get feedback from music professionals that have been in the industry for a long time. Anyways. After you click on your track, make sure you click on the I in the lower right hand corner of GarageBand. This will bring up the sound filter menu. Click on the edit tab, then you want to open up a blank filter to bring up the audio unit menu. Scroll down until you see the AU dynamic processor. After you double click the AU image, this will bring up a manual AU processor. With this audio filter, you can change the compression threshold, headroom, expansion ratio, expansion threshold, attack time, and release time, also the master gain. The compression threshold sets the level where compression kicks in. Sounds below this level will be unaffected. Headroom affects how hard the compression is. If the entire bar consistently fills in with blue, that means you're maxing out the compression. In other words, you aren't really giving yourself any headroom. I try setting the compression amount so that it only fills in about halfway of the input level. I've also seen other tutorials online that say that the AU Dynamic Processor is great for manipulating vocals, uh, especially vocal tracks that include soft vocals and hard vocals, because the compressor will compress these vocals so they don't. you don't have to worry about any excessive peaking. The expansion ratio and expansion threshold are fairly mysterious augmenters. Uh, when the expansion ratio is set at 1, it doesn't seem to matter what you do with threshold control. If the ratio is set relatively high, moving the threshold closer to 0 can have some really weird and strange repercussions. So I just generally set the ratio high and the threshold low and leave it at that. So the last two things I want to talk about about AU dynamic processing is attack time and release time. Uh, the attack time, you want to set it so you can hear that clamping down sound on the bass drum. If you set it too low, it will start compressing the initial attack and the bass drum will sound a whole lot quieter. So for that really nice pumping effect with your drums, you want to set the attack lower so it will come through before the compressor kicks in. The release time, you want to set that fairly low. If you set it too high, then you'll get this breathing effect, uh, especially noticeable on the hi-hat. For funky sounding drums, Try these settings out. It's important to keep in mind when using the AU Dynamic Processor that your ears know best. It's important to know what each feature does, but in the end, let your ears tell you what sounds best. This concludes my tutorial on AU Dynamic Processing. This is the How To Mac, and thank you for watching.